Hello, my scientist friends. Welcome to day four of our Kids Spring Break Activities Challenge. Today, Katrina's got a fun and exciting science activity planned for you, where you will become ornithologists with her. Before you do that, she's gonna walk you through a breathing exercise that will help get you set for the science adventure ahead. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, friends. Let's do bird breath. So this way of breathing helps us feel healthy in all parts of our body, all of our organ systems. It helps us feel happy and helps us shine really brightly. So let's start by finding a comfortable place to be. You can sit down or you can do it standing up, whatever you wanna do. As always, shake out any wiggles. And then get really still. If you're sitting down, your hands can rest on your legs or down by your sides. If you are standing, your arms can just hang down by your sides. And we'll start by taking one sip of air in through our nose. Lift your arms up a little bit. Take another one a little more and another one and let it go out the mouth. Good, so sip of air in, another, another, and let it go. Let's do it again. I'll keep going. You start to do it on your timing, not mine. Your eyes want to close, let them. Let's do three more rounds together. time you let your hands go just let them rest wherever they want to maybe that's somewhere on your body or down by your sides take some time just to reflect on how you feel thank you for breathing with me all right kiddos now that you did your bird breath breathing exercise, let's learn more about bird sounds with Katrina. Hi friends, welcome ornithologists. Wait, what is an ornithologist? Well, ornithology is the study of birds. So an ornithologist is a scientist who studies birds. Can you say that word with me? Or, ne, thal, o, Gist, ornithologists, great. So ornithologists study things like what birds look like, what they sound like, what they eat, what they do, how they interact with each other, where they live and where they go or migrate to, and lots more. Today, let's focus on what they sound like. Does that sound fun? Great. So this is a super easy science experiment. All you really need are your listening ears and a little imagination. So begin to use your imagination to imagine you're in nature and turn on your listening ears. Now on your screen, you will see an American goldfinch. They sound like this. And this is a blue jay. This is what they sound like. And introducing the downy woodpecker. They sound like this. And here is a black capped chickadee. That's a fun word to say. This is their sound. This is a morning dove. Here's what they sound like. And here is a red winged blackbird. This is their sound. And here is my favorite, because my favorite color is red, the northern cardinal. This is their sound.
Now, which of those was your favorite? Did any of the sounds sound familiar? Like bird sounds you've heard before outside at your home or school? Now set an intention. Next time you're outside exploring, remember, turn on your listening ears and pay attention to bird sounds. Thanks for being an ornithologist with me. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for our day four activity. Do you recognize any of those sounds that you heard in everyday life? Over the next couple of days and the next activities, we're gonna be exploring bird sounds more. So you're gonna be putting those ears to good use over the next couple of days. Do you have any fun and special sounds that you can make? I have a fun and silly noise that I like to make. You wanna hear what it sounds like? It's super silly. What I do is I take my hand, I form it into kind of a fist like that. I put it over my mouth and I make a sound like this. It's a silly sound, but what I do is in the back of my throat, I say girl, girl, go, 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 and I make a silly sound. When I put this over it, it kind of amplifies that sound. So it sounds like this. So that's my Jesse Bird call. What kind of sounds can you make? Go ahead, have fun experimenting with noises that you can make and become little birdies today, chirping around, making fun sounds. We'll see you here tomorrow for day five's activity where we're gonna be making a bird feeder. We'll see you there. Wanna join in on our next kids activities challenge? Click the link below and you'll be informed so you can join in on the fun. We'll see you there.